If you're honest, Emily Fox. Today is the beginning of my weekly reading vlog, or at least this week is going to be a week-long reading vlog. I'm going to be reading some ARC slash very new releases, uh, two that I'm going to attempt to read this week. The first one, both of them are actually on my Kindle, obviously, since they're ARCs. Uh, the first one is The Devil in the Dark Water by Stuart Turton, which is the same author as The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle that I've been raving about for literally forever. Uh, this is his newest book. It's coming out, I think it's October 6th, so it's not out as I'm filming this right now, but it will be once the video is up, and I'm so excited to read it because this was like one of my all-time favorite murder mystery with a sci-fi twist to it, and it's gonna be a similar team, it seems like, for his newest books. You're following this group of characters that are on a boat, and uh, there are some mysterious stuff happening and you don't know if it's someone or if it's a demon or something and you have to kind of figure it out with the characters which is kind of similar to what happened with that one and I have been just wanting to read anything else by him. I'm hoping it's going to be as good. If it is, he's going to become one of my all-time favorite authors like, like this. So fingers crossed I enjoy it and that he comes out with something else very soon. So that's the one I'm currently wa watching. <laughs> reading. I'm about like 8% into it. I literally just started it. Uh, so right now we're just introduced to characters. Um, there seemed to be quite a bit, which was the same thing with this one. So I'm prepared to be confused in the beginning and so excited. Uh, the next one that I will start at least once I'm done with that one, maybe I'll have time to finish it this week too, is The Midnight Library by Matt Egg, which I have been wanting to read more by him. I read The Humans. I've been raving about that book forever. First contact-ish with aliens. And I feel like a lot of you read it and loved it too. And um, I read another one by him. What is it called? I have it like right here. Oh, uh, Reasons to Stay Alive, which is a nonfiction uh, about how he has been dealing with his mental health. And uh, he just came out with the Midnight Library, I think it came out the 29th of September, but I was approved for the ARC after it came out, so I'm counting it as an ARC. Uh, I'm very, very excited. It's also on my Kindle. I will be reading it as soon as I'm done with this one. I believe you're following the character and she dies and goes to this library where people can see, like, the books are basically your possible other lives. I think it's in between life and death. So I don't know if she's going to choose something else or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is about. <laughs> Obviously did not read it. It doesn't matter. What matters here is that both of these are books that I have been waiting to uh, for them to be released this year. And I'm reading them now and there's a high chance they will become new favorites. There's this possibility and I want more books to be able to add to my best books of 2020. And we can all, <laughs> we could all use some five stars books. Very excited. Uh, let's get to reading. Okay, so we are two days later and I wanted to update you on my reading and the kitty because Twitter <laughs> has requested that I follow up on the kitty. Um, so one of my neighbor's cat has been coming in my backyard once in a while and I've been noticing that he's sleeping on my chair outside. So I'll insert the clips of me trying to bribe him into letting me pet him. So I've been trying to trick him into coming in because I just want to pet it. I'm obviously not going to close the door behind him. But like we're playing peekaboo right now oh. <laughs> you won't come in this is what the lockdown has come to I just want to pet you let me give you some love <laughs> First contact. Yup, no food, <laughs> not staying. Did not pet the kitty, he did sniff my finger today and I got very, very excited. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep you updated because I am very, very stubborn and I will pet him, hopefully. <laughs> but the reading, um, so uh, I made progress the last two days. I'm about 50% at this point. Things got interesting, like now, that's why I'm updating. Um, as <laughs> his first book, um, a lot of characters and you get their background stories like throughout the book. So I feel like you kind of switch around who are you not trusting 
and uh, I don't know if it's going to be like a big twist towards the end or if it's just going to be, you know, interesting and well explained. I don't know. We'll see how he goes because obviously it's his uh, second book. So I don't really know exactly how he's going to finish it. Slash. I feel like I say slash a lot. Slash. Um, the ending of his other book was the weakest point of the book. So I'm a little nervous to see how that's going to go. But uh, so far, my only complaint is that um, one of the main slash... <laughs> I said it again. The main character, probably I guess he can count as the main character, uh, his name is Errant. I don't know, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, but I don't know if it's because English is not my first language, but this is annoying. Like every time his name pops, it takes me a second because I'm like, is it Arnt or Errant? Like, it... so yeah, warning everyone that will struggle with this. It's not enough to obviously make me put the book down, but like it's just very annoying. So yeah, so far so good. Uh, I will keep you updated on my progress. Hopefully the lighting is okay. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> okay, maybe. Um, so we are day five, I think. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, I just finished my first book, my first arc, my first new release, I guess. It's gonna be out by the time I post this. Uh, it doesn't matter. I finished The Devil in the Dark Waters, which was good. Um, I feel like towards, like, at 80% or something, things started to slow down, which is probably why it took me a few days to finish it. Uh, it's still a big book. I think it's 480 pages. I'm a little torn about the ending, which I kind of expected, I guess, but I I don't know how to end his books. Like, sometimes, you know, you're like, oh, I feel like he should have done that, they should have done that, blah, blah, blah. And him, it's just always so intense that you're like, I don't know how you should end this. But uh, I didn't see the ending coming. Um, I'm trying to keep it vague, obviously, for spoilers. Um, I did overall enjoy it quite a bit. But I'm not sure I'm satisfied with the ending, which is kind of what you're left with with mysteries, I feel like. It's hard to like describe everything without spoiling anything, except you can just say if you'd like the ending or not. But yeah, um, strong points I feel like are the same as in his first book. Uh, lots of characters. I like how you slowly get their background story, how the, you know, like what links them, why they're all there, why they're being punished or something. The writing style is good. I have like no big complaint except I'm not sure how I feel about the ending. I feel like it's gonna take me a few days slash maybe. I'm saying slash again. Damn it. Someone commented that the other day and it's been in my head ever since. Uh, I feel like pointing it out is probably making it worse. I feel like I would like to see reviews of other people. So since it's coming out very soon, I want to see what other people feel like because sometimes I feel like people put into words something you're feeling but couldn't put into words. So yeah, I'll keep you updated in my wrap-up at the end of the month. It's going to give me a few more days to think about it. It's definitely over four stars, but it's not a five stars. So maybe like 4.25, I think that would be about where it's at for me. Uh, do I still recommend it? Absolutely. Um, I feel like I haven't read a lot of good mysteries like at all and his are much better than the average I don't know if it's because there's always a little bit of you know uh, the first one there's a sci-fi twist to this one and this one there's like is it paranormal twist which keeps it interesting so um it's kind of early still I think it's about 8 8 30 so I think I'm gonna start reading the midnight library and I'll keep you updated I'm really excited for that one too guys this was such a mistake don't do this just don't do it <laughs> I really like the book. I'm, uh, I think, like 30, 25% into it or something. And I don't want to put it down, but I really need to go to bed because tomorrow I have to work. <laughs> this is such a stupid struggle, but, like, don't do it. If you want to read it, wait until you have time to binge read the whole thing in one day. Just in case you like it. Um, I feel like I should have known because the author, you know, I've read The Humans and then another book by him. And... I was so excited for this book. I don't remember if I said what it was about, so just in case, I'll cut it off if <laughs> I've already said it. But uh, you're following this woman who is suicidal. Obviously, trigger warnings for anyone that is uh, struggling, because I feel like the beginning might be 
triggering. Um, but yeah, she's dealing with depression and she is suicidal and she ends up being, uh, going, <laughs> you know how, uh, to this place where she's in between life and death. Uh, she goes to this midnight library. She will get to try through books different lives that could happen from now on. Like she can't change the past, but she can go to a life where she made different decisions basically. And she gets to like try it on, like kind of like a shirt and uh, decide if she likes it better or not. Just to see if, if all her regrets were for nothing. Because sometimes you imagine something and then when you get it, it's not what you thought it was going to be. <laughs> Words are hard at this hour. So it's so good so far and I don't want to put it down. Uh, I have no idea how it's going to end, but I have very high hopes for my egg. Uh, please, please make it good. Uh, I mean, it's too late at this point. But yes, uh, I will... <sighs> I will finish it tomorrow as soon as I can. For sure, I'll finish it. I haven't finished a book in one day, like in 24 hours, in forever. That's a good sign. I'm very happy about it. Um, we're obviously the next night, and I have obviously finished a book. The weather is so intense today, which really suits the book. Um, so, the Midnight Library. I don't know how to explain it without spoiling anything, but I feel like the way I was describing it yesterday was pretty good. I feel like uh, I liked how um, she gets to try different lives and see that maybe the things she's been regretting weren't really things she should regret and uh, how her focus was too much on trying to live the life that other people in her life wanted her to live instead of what she actually wants and that could have been the reason why she was feeling like that and I did overall enjoy the messages from the book I overall I feel like I actually ended up uh, highlighting a few quotes which I'll include on my uh, Goodreads review or something because right now I feel like I don't want to go through uh, my Kindle but um yeah very quotable book we're gonna say that the ending was a little sickly sweet for me and I'm might be just me once again I, I'm gonna give myself a few days to like feel because sometimes it takes you a few days to just absorb it you know but at this point I'm giving it probably like a 4.5 out of 5. Like, I really, really enjoyed this book. Uh, I do think it's going to be either hit or miss, obviously, because it's so intense and more character-driven and more... Very serious topic. Um, but yes, overall, I feel like it definitely touched me. It definitely will affect me. It's definitely something that's going to stay in my mind, basically, and I'll definitely mention it over and over again on this channel. Um, yeah, it was really good. Again, I shouldn't be surprised. And I have more books by the author on my shelf somewhere. I don't know where I put it, but I have How to Stop Time, which I still <laughs> need to finish or actually start. He's definitely one of my favorite authors at this point. I feel like I will continue to read whatever he comes out with because so good. So yeah, actually a really successful reading vlog. Two new releases that I ended up giving over four stars. And they were two books that were part of my most anticipated book of 2020. So way to end the, the year slash <laughs> towards the end of the year on finally a good note. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Definitely subscribe because I have more coming. Next time I'm doing one about uh, giving a second chance to authors slash... Mm, um, <laughs> last chance to some authors that's going to be my next uh, reading vlog and definitely excited to try these two books because they're also new releases for 2020 so so yeah I'll put more videos uh, right where Emily is <laughs> uh, more videos I recommend you check out and I'm gonna see you in my next video very soon bye